good morning to you and a very happy Christmas to you, one and all. Let us go in heart and mind to see what has come to pass. Let us go with the shepherds. Let us go to find the Saviour. Let us go with the wise ones. Let us go to find God's promise born for us. Let us go with the poor and humble. Let us go to find our King born in a lonely manger. Let us go with all the world, with all the peoples of the nations. Come, let us worship. Come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. And some verses from Galatians chapter 4. But when the right time finally came, God sent his own Son. He came as the son of a human mother and lived under the Jewish law to redeem those who were under the law so that we might become God's daughters and sons. To show that you are his daughters and sons, God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, the Spirit who cries out, Father, my Father. So then, you are no longer a slave, but a daughter or son. And since that is what you are, God will give you all that He has for his heirs. Let us pray. All glory to you, great God, for the gift of your Son, light in darkness and hope of the world, whom you sent to save us. With singing angels, let us praise your name and tell the earth his story, that all may believe, rejoice and bow down acknowledging your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
a reading from the second chapter of Luke's Gospel. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, and to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that, while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things, and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. Ar gyfer heddiw'r boren, faban bach, faban bach. Yn ganwyd gwreidd injersen, faban bach. Yn cadarn ddaeth o bosera, yn deddfwr gynt ar seina. Yr iawn gaid ar galfarian, faban bach, faban bach. Yn signo bron marian, faban bach. Caid biwiol ddwfr ezekiel, ar un mair, ar un mair. Daniel Arlin Mair Caid bach gen doeth e seia Radd e wyd roed i ar ha Yr alfa ar omega Arlin Mair Arlin Mair Ewn cor y Methlem jiwt ar un mair. Di osgodd Crist ei goron, o'i wir fodd, o'i wir fodd. Er mwyn goron i 
Let us pray together. Incarnate God, with the angels we sing and glorify your name, thankful for all that you have given us, for your presence in the world, for our nation, for our community and its leaders, for the witness of your Church celebrating around the world. But today we are especially grateful for the gift of your Son, who gave up his heavenly home for a manger and a cross, so that we might experience redemption, a gift that neither spoils nor fades. With the angels, we also desire peace on earth, a peace that is broader and deeper than the end of war. We pray for the restoration of this world, for the growth of your kingdom, for reconciliation, healing and renewal. We bring before you our prayers for the nations of the world, for our nation, and those in authority, for our communities and those who govern them, for the Church Universal, its mission and those who minister, for our local congregations and their ministry, and for those with particular needs on this holy day especially those who are sick, those who are bereaving, and those who need your special guidance for this year ahead. Make your incarnate presence known in each situation, and may we, as your servants, be vessels of your peace. We pray this in the name of the one who became flesh and dwelt among us, Jesus Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Oh, 
brwd mewn cloion, llonydd dan y llwyr. Aer yn drwm o brynu dref, aer ar dwy na dwl, gan ol gaiaf noeth lwm, oes bell yn nhw. Jesus's manger appears on a thousand Christmas cards, doesn't it? And we, of course, remember each year the words of that famous anonymous carolist, away in a manger, no crib for a bed, the little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay, the little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. And oftentimes we get caught up at Christmas in the sentimentality, if you like, of the setting, of the fact that the innkeeper had to turn Joseph and Mary away from the main building of the inn and sent them somehow to an outhouse, where nature inevitably took its course. Mary gave birth and Jesus was born. And quite often the picture that we have at Christmas stays in that spot. But Luke mentions that manger, the most famous feeding trough in history, three times in his retelling of the Christmas story in his Gospel. Three times. First, we hear it here, where we hear of the birth itself, and then twice when the angels meet with the shepherds on that hillside and say, it's in that manger where you'll find him. It's in that feeding trough where you will locate the saviour of the world. In other words, Luke concentrates so much on the manger not because of the setting, not because of the fact that Jesus and Jesus was born there in that stable outside the palace, but rather as a sign to the shepherds of where they might find he who was to be the hope of all humankind, he who was to be the one whom God had called Saviour, both to those shepherds and, of course, to us in this day and age, too. So when we remember the words of that anonymous carol, when we look at those Christmas cards and think of the manger, let us think, instead of that sometimes idyllic setting, with the two parents and the animals 
the shepherds and sometimes even the magi thrown in, but rather think of he who lay in that straw, he for whom the manger was assigned to the shepherds, he who has come to this world as a saviour, he whom we should seek every day of our lives. In his name. Amen. O you further on yide, O stan or maledi, O dayuch, O dayuch, I Bethlehem drug. Well, if you Dwi'n ymdrech chi ysgrifennu englyn bob nadolig i roi ar y cardiau nadolig. A wrth gwrs, y lenni wedi bod yn wahanol iawn i bob nadolig. Arferol, felly, neu ddarllen un llynedd i chi a wedyn i nylenni. Llenwi hosan, plant yn canu, eira a'r seren yn twynu. Eto i hyd a ddaeth i'r tŷ, yn olau i'r holl deulu. A chi nylenni, er y llid ar gofidio, er y boen ar byd yn dolurio, er pob brad a'n gwlad dan glo, y seren na'n cysiro. My special thanks to everyone who has taken part in this Christmas service today and to all of you for watching. Unfortunately, because of the new government regulations, we will be unable to meet together as churches for the foreseeable future. But my prayer is that everyone should keep safe, especially with the pandemic around us. Let us seek God's blessing at the end of our service. Let us pray. 
May Jesus Christ, the Son of Righteousness, who comes with healing in his wings, fill you with the joy and peace that passes all understanding. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.